YouTube, what is really good? Man, it feels good to be back. Uh, FCL Waiver 314, Justin, J. Rich, however you know me, back on the scene. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm back, y'all. New Wave video. It's been a long, long time. Man, whew, I just been just been busy man I've been training trying to get myself better and you know it's hard to kind of you know when you got like 40 plus videos think of something new and fresh to bring to you guys you know what I'm saying I don't want to bring you guys garbage I want to bring you guys top quality stuff you know what I'm saying that's that's what I'm about I'd rather have one video a year that goes platinum or gets 7,000 views plus you know rather than make you 60 videos that only get 500 views on average so but anyway today I'm gonna be talking about um, the importance in my opinion of against the grain combing you know and why it works and why it helps me and why it will probably help you so without further ado let's get into it take off my hair to show you guys where I'm at um, my last haircut, which probably was about maybe three, three and a half, four weeks ago, was uh, I went against the grain for the first time. You know, and I'm not talking about from like childhood. I can't remember if they ever went backwards or not. I didn't have waves, it didn't matter. But since I've had waves and, you know, been doing the thing, it's the first time I went against the grain. And, you know, I actually think the results were pretty good. Now, like I said, I only did it once, so I can't say, oh yeah, it's better than with the grain, you know, or I can't say it's worse than with the grain, you know, I gotta try it again, you know, next time around I might go with the grain, I don't know, but, you know, but I, you know, the results, they, they, I like them, you know, I didn't lose any progress, you know, nice and even, and like I said, this was like three, four weeks ago, I gotta get my, uh, yeah, I gotta go get a lineup today because I was getting a little bushy. And he didn't tape with me in the back. He normally does, but whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys against the Grand Coleman. First of all, shout out to all my subscribers. Um, thank you guys for sticking around and, you know, keeping me motivated. Let me know that you guys are still watching and still, you know, still an audience to me. You know what I'm saying? I've had, a, you know, a lot of people, you know, hit me up like, yo, when are you going to make a new video? You know, that feels good to know that people still are waiting on me, even though I've, I've been off the scene for a while. So, thank you guys. Shout out to, yep, Crown Quality Products, Team CQP. I see y'all. What up? Thank you guys for the, you know, thanks, that boy there clean. Thank you, Rob, for the new brush. It's the Mahogany Soft Caesar brush. I chose to get a Caesar, you know. I know, I know I normally get the handles, but this time I want to go ahead and go with the Caesar. It's not black, it's mahogany, it's kind of like black, brown, and extremely dark purple, kind of. You know, kind of, I don't know, kind of ebony, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, trying to try to get it in the light and see if you can see the contrast, but anyway, yeah, it's soft bristle, you know, it ain't like this red softy crimson brush, and it's not like the premium. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's unique. I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw this brush, I thought to myself, this is probably gonna be another honey oak, you know? But, um, it's not. It, it's, it's, it's different, you know? And I'm really, really digging this brush, you know? It's like that perfect texture, you know? For like two, three, four weeks into it. So, I mean, it's real good, but this is about combing. So, I recommend you get a good comb, I mean, I don't have anything super duper special. This is the Cricut comb. It's called the FF30, FF Friction Free 30. Um, it's got the wide side. I've mentioned this, but you've seen this kind of comb in my videos before. And it's got the thin side. You know, a lot of combs come like this with wide, skinny, but it's friction free. It's got a real smooth glide going through your hair, you know, and it, it just really pulls your curls out and keeps them laid down. That's why I love this comb. I mean, I was talking to um, one of my homeboys, and you know he got waves or whatever, and he was like, "Yeah, man, that's the best comb." And I never even put him on the comb, you know what I'm saying? He found the comb on his own, and uh, 
decided upon himself that that was the best comb he's ever used as well. So this is a really, really good comb. I mean, I had to order this offline for some reason. You usually can find them at Sally's, but they stopped selling them at Sally's around where I'm at. Maybe they still got them where you guys are at. But anyway, what I do is I like to go with the thicker, the, the fatter side. Of course, you got your hair got to be long enough, you know, to hold it. But I like to go with the fatter side and just comb up. It's nice and smooth, you know, with the grain. With the grain first. You guys got to see, hold on. I know you guys are watching me, so I'm going to show you exactly raw, uncut what I do. You know, I get a mirror, you know, and behind me is a mirror, and I kind of just... You know, go, you know, just follow it with my crown, you know? You know, just go all the way around. It's very, very important that you get every last piece of hair on your scalp lifted up. Going with the direction you normally brush. Okay. Gotta switch hands. All right, cool. Now, what you want to do is go against the grain. Now that your hair, oh, something's in my hair. Now that your hair is lifted up, it ain't gonna hurt when you comb it up, when you comb it against the grain. So you're gonna go exact opposite. Against the grain is the opposite way you brush, the opposite way direction your hair grows. So if your hair is going this way, you're going to go against it, lifting it up. I know I look pretty silly right now, but whatever. We all men here for the most part. So it's all good. I'm not worried about it. Man, how y'all been, man? <laughs> I'm talking to y'all like y'all can respond to me. Alright, I might start going live. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I think I'm good. Get it real good, you know what I mean? Real good. And now, now this is where a little, it gets a little extra, so to speak. Comb it back down, you know, starting from back here and going up like that. Like against the grain in the back, then it goes with the grain in the front. Reason why you do that is because you want to see where your hair on your crown lays down best. You know, if it's still kind of sticking up, you know it doesn't grow that way. But if it just uh, just collapses and falls down, that's where you know you need to brush. You know, shout out to JF. I learned that uh, technique from him. So shout out to my bro J. Oh snap, my bro JF. And you can do it opposite. You can, you know, comb it backwards and then with the grain in the back, you know. It just gives you an idea where your crown pieces together. And now, what's been helping my right side out is I kind of like hack it, you know what I'm saying? Real fast and hack it, you know. Really get them curls to pop, you know, come out, you know, kind of like you scraping it kind of in a way. So we'll call this the scrape method. And it gets rid of your dandruff too. But yeah, once I, you know, and don't start all the way up here when you're doing your right side, you know, kind of start from the bottom, you know, like Drake, and then work your way up. Then you can see your curls you know, kind of just like start to set in and then you can see, okay, yeah, that's how it goes. Right on, there we go. So yeah, that's why I do it. That's how I've been seeing results. You guys gotta excuse me for these awkward angles. Just trying to give y'all a good idea of what's going on. All right, now that my hair is more or less back laid down, always do like this. You know, if you got, dandruff it'll knock it out and it'll smooth your hair down I'm gonna take my mahogany brush 
No, better yet, I gotta go with the harder brush. I'm gonna go with the CGP medium. Brush it down. Nice and smooth. I'm telling you, if you do this at least once a day, at least once a day, you don't have to comb with the grain once a day, but at least taking it against the grain once a day, you will see a better connection on your weaker sides. And you'll see a better connection all around, but especially on your weaker side. Especially with, the, with the, that scrape method I was showing you. And no, I wasn't trying to think of a hurry up and think of a new method just so I could just toss out there to you guys. That's, that's seriously what I do. You know, wouldn't lie to you guys. Ugh, sorry. All right. But yeah. I haven't washed my hair in like three, four days, so after this video, I'm about to, you know, do my wash method or whatever and go at it again. If you guys don't know what I use or how I go about when I'm wolfing, um, I got a video on that. I think it's like maybe three videos back. How to uh, maximize your wolfing. I'll show you how to do it there. Show you how to do that, son. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it. And after you get a good brush session going, if you got a plastic bag, always go with the plastic bag method. You'll be surprised on how well it lays your hair down. And you tie that do rag up, put on your stocking cap, and then you go about your business. Take your hair out, I mean, you take your stocking cap and do rag off, you'll be set, man. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for a long, long time. 95% of the time I've been away, that's what I've been doing. I've been seeing results. You know, you'll see results too. If you do it like I tell you. Alright. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, checking me out, keeping me uplifted, you know what I'm saying? Keep you know for the participation of commenting and hitting me up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? Believe it or not. I may not be coming with I may not have been coming with the videos like I should have been, but the brushing has never stopped. I'm a waver first and a procrastinator second, so Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, let's keep this thing moving, alright? Later.